This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to. People at any time I want to. Now we're cooking with evil guys. What do you mean? Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Openly Hostile Opinions. I forgot the name of our fucking show. <laughs> What the hell? We're off to a great start. We're off to a great start. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, as always, I'm 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 Jay. This guy over here is Casey. What's up, you motherfuckers? Motherfuckers. All right. So I got something uh, from from a faraway foreign land for our <laughs> today. We have from Concurrent Le Brewery <laughs> from all the way in in. Uh, Jeu de Bois, France, I think it was. I, yeah. I don't know. I can't pronounce this shit. Yeah, we're not French. Fuck you, French. <laughs> yeah, so so we're from... Oh, well, here it says Normandy. Yeah. Speaking of French... Normandy, French. I know you hate us Americans, but just remember, we saved your ass twice. Twice? <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this this here beer... Uh, Casey got a picture of it. Yeah, I got a picture of it. It was sort of hard to find, the picture was, because I think it's very... I don't know, underground, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> it was at our grocery store. It ain't that underground. Yeah. It was also cheap, so that's why we got yeah, it. Yeah, it's a very cheap beer. <laughs> and uh, you can tell here if you look at the... Although it had label. a it had a cork and a fucking uh, you know cork cage and shit yeah. on it, so I felt like a fucking gentleman. We were, we were going to open it on stream, or on stream, um, on the show, but we thought maybe it would exp- Jesus, it would explode and go all over us like some, you know, fucking erotic porn video. So we didn't, uh, we didn't open it. But you can look at the label here. It looks like someone drew it on MS Paint. <laughs> <laughs> of but, course, uh, uh, I, I'm kind of afraid because it's got floaters and shit in it. Yeah, we were trying to find out if it's non-filtered or not. Yeah, I, it's very floaty-ish stuff in it. Yeah, there, there's all sorts of crap floating in this stuff, and I, I don't know whether it's from the cork. I don't know whether it's because it's uh, non-filtered and that's raw yeast. Yeah. Or I don't know whether it's got botulism and we're going to die. <laughs> yes. I guess we just get to spin the spin the wheel of shame. <laughs> it's a brown ale. Um, when we opened it, we were pouring it. It smells sort of sweet, so we'll see uh, see if it's sweet or not, and see if this is gonna kill us. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's very malty. Yeah, sweet. That's the maltiest Kinda brown caramel-y. ale I think I ever had. Yeah. How it's about got- you? I don't know if it's the maltiest. It's, it's unbelievably smooth though. It's not. It doesn't have any of the alcohol burn to no, it. No, it doesn't. It feels like it does at first because it sort of has, to me, anyways, is like a barley wine taste. Well, yeah, they're they're usually fairly malty. Yeah, it's a similar flavor profile. It's got that. It's got that caramely sort of note going on to nice. it. Nutty, 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 <laughs> nutty. A bit nutty. <laughs> a bit nutty. Yeah, it, um, it's very smooth though. Uh, Kind really, of kind really. of chunky from from the whatever's yeah. floating in it. <laughs> yeah, it looks very 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 like home brewed. And if it's from France, who knows? Because French or other countries have a different way of processing foods and drinks that we do. Like, you know, uh, that that reminds me of something going way the fuck back. You remember a Simpsons episode way way back? I'm like talking early '90s Simpson episode. I don't know. You have to remind me. Bart was in a uh, foreign exchange program and ends up with a, in France. With these two winemakers, and I, I vividly recall them, in order to make the wine taste aged, they would pour uh, antifreeze in it. <laughs> and they were these, like, just two ridiculously, like, French stereotype, <laughs> French so peasant stereotype. Smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me, after we write this beer, I, I saw a story um, that I thought was interesting, and I wanted to just talk about real quick. I don't, I don't have the article pulled up here, but maybe if we get into it, I'll pull it up. But uh, yeah, if um, if I would rate this, um, I don't know. It's it's a tough one because, like I said, I've never, I've not, I've never had a brown ale that tastes like this before. To be honest, brown ale. Yeah, this ain't Newcastle. That's yeah. For sure. Well, I don't, I don't. Newcastle's all right. I don't. I know. like Newcastle. It's it's not exciting, but it's not bad. I, like I would sit and drink a six pack of Newcastle. Yeah. The, um, 
This I would drink a six pack of. Yeah, it's it's very smooth for how for what I thought it was going to be. It's it's very very smooth. Assuming it doesn't kill us. Yeah, and actually the smoothest beer I ever had was from France Man, uh, when I worked at a brewery a long time ago. We got it imported as like a guest tap. It was thirteen percent alcohol, and it, it was so smooth. It was like like a crisp. I don't know something like a crisp. Like a good tasting Budweiser, I'd say. <laughs> like you know how Budweiser doesn't really taste like anything, so it's very smooth. This had a lot of flavor. It was like so smooth. It was like ridiculous, and I can't remember the name of it. It had like two angels on it. It was the smoothest beer I think I've ever had. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, th- this is this is this is really good. If I, if I would rate this, I would give it. Um, I'd say. F- Four and a half Jessica Nigeri's out of five. <laughs> yeah, I go. I'll go with four and a half on that. Although I gotta say, I got stuff that looks like sand. I got things that look like 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 basil flakes going on down in here. Yeah, I don't know. I just hope we don't basil. Die. <laughs> basil from yeah. France. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of beers, man. Uh, well, well. First off, I'll lead into this. Uh, speaking of beers, yesterday, Kevin, he was on our show. I think, it was, what was it, episode like 23? 23 or Who something? Who was that? Kevin. Kevin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin brought this beer in for us to share yesterday. Unfortunately, you had already disappeared by that point. Oh, and okay. uh, it was a, uh, it, it's called Parabola. Uh, it's from Firestone Walker Brewing Company. This stuff is a Russian imperial stout. It is 14 fucking percent alcohol. Holy, hot. of course it's from Russia. You could only, <laughs> he, he was somewhere for a wedding and, uh. He happened to pick it up because he went into this beer store. They they had to sign like you can only buy one of these. So he's like, it's old, <laughs> but it was like a, a a regular you know bottle of beer, you mm-hmm. know a non long neck, you know the kind. Yeah, uh, you know like for example the stuff that uh, 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 Lagunitas stuff comes in that that style bottle. Yeah. That bottle was eighteen dollars. Oh, sh- anyway, so he poured it and this shit is like. It, it's an imperial stout. It tastes like an imperial stout, but it had such an alcohol burn. It was like a it was like a punch in the face. <laughs> That's Russia for you. Like we, Soviet Russia, beer drinks you. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, split this beer amongst me, Kevin, and and Ron, and you know, just we all had a little bit of it. I couldn't have drank a whole bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievably good. Mm-hmm. It was so true to the style, but it was such a kick in the ass. Like I could never drink a whole beer. I'd be laying on my yeah. face, blathering to myself. Yeah, it's, and it's funny because like. Like we make fun of Russians for being alcoholics and stuff like that, but eh. <laughs> there's probably a good reason for yeah. it. Actually, James Hetfield blames Russia for his drinking alcoholism and stuff like that. Because, well, his his relapse. Yeah, because he said that he uh, went to Russia to go hunting because he's a huge hunter. He has a song called Wolf and Man that is about hunting and stuff like that. And with the snowstorms and everything, and you know where they were, they were trapped in a cabin for I don't know a month, and all he did was drink vodka. And he just went to a hard, hard alcoholism, like crazy. Well, yeah, they didn't have water. They just brought vodka. Yeah. Vodka! Yeah, vodka! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Kevin, while we're on the subject, uh, thanks to Kevin, we now have this creepy-ass fucking Paul Rubens doll back here, <laughs> Pee Wee Herman style. For, so, for those of you watching us on YouTube and uh, see our, our wall of goofy little knickknacks <laughs> back there. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. That, that, it's a nice touch in here. <laughs> touch <laughs> yeah casey lives in this place so yeah. uh i'd be a, i'm glad i don't yeah it reminds me of that fucking uh uh goosebumps book with the dummy you remember that there was yes. like three or four of them dude you're gonna wake up and that thing's gonna be sitting on your on your uh fucking headboard like <laughs> i know it's still gonna be touching himself he's like what are you doing <laughs> be like you're out of lotion <laughs> time to get to the store you piece of shit Pee-wee, why are you jacking it? That's the secret word! Ah! <laughs> Look at so, fucking cowboy Kurt is going to come over. Yeah, that, that show is not meant for kids. Man. I know it wasn't. It was pretty bad. Actually, that reminds me. I got done uh, Twitch last night, and Twitch has been doing some weird shit lately. Like it started, of course. With, it started with Bob Ross, where they did a Bob Ross marathon. Now, guess what they're doing? They're doing a Mr. Rogers marathon. <laughs> and I was watching it last night, and I forgot how fucking weird that show is. Be mine. <laughs> yeah. Be mine. Exactly. Be my neighbor. Like, holy fuck, it's so creepy. <laughs> like, he had this doll that he borrowed. He's like, I borrowed this doll from a friend. And he's, like, dressing it and shit. And, and of course, because of uh, 
girl streamers on Twitch. That's, you know, showing too much cleavage and shit and, you know, basically being a cam girl. Uh, <laughs> people were flipping out because he took it. He's like, this kid needs a bath. And it was like a doll and he was like undressing it. And everyone's like, banned, banned. <laughs> They're like Twitch. They're like Twitch banned and everything like that. They're like <laughs> nudity. You can't show nudity. That's the best part is Twitch chat. People are so fucking funny. But it was so creepy. Like he was, he's taking this doll's clothes off and he was like washing it. And he's like, this is nice. And he's like, he's like, you got to make sure to take care of it because we borrowed this from a friend. And when we borrow stuff from friends, we give it back because that's what good friends do. <laughs> and it's like, okay. <laughs> Speaking of Twitch chat, chat, whenever we're, you know, have an audience worth, worth doing it for and do live. Yes, Cricket, we're eventually going to do live. Yeah, if you're watching Cricket, we're, we're going to do live. We're we, working we on it. We just need an audience. <laughs> <laughs> get your friends involved. There's no point in going live when there's only 10, 10 people watching. I don't even know if we'd get that many. <laughs> anyway, uh, do you think it'd be possible to simulcast between YouTube and Twitch? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and definitely. We should do that. Yeah. I know a lot of people that they just take their Twitch shit and they put it right on YouTube and then they try to get sponsored with Twitch and YouTube and it's just like double money. Double money, money, money. <laughs> yeah, but, the only money we've made so far is off t-shirt sales. Yeah. I'm pretty sure three of them were me. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to buy one. I just, I don't know. Yeah, we don't even get them free, folks. Don't think. <laughs> nah, I know. We got to buy them too. I know. The, the, I, I wouldn't call it Because we a go con- through spread shirts. Yeah. It's not like we're sitting here with inventory. Nah. You know, there's no... There, there, we're, we're not we're not fucking t-shirt makers, so we mm-hmm. don't have, like, inventory in a silk screen here. Yeah, we're not Chinese, so we're not in a sweatshop here, but... <laughs> but but getting back to the thing I wanted to talk about, I saw today, it was on NBC News, that uh, a kid in an hour drank a latte, a diet soda, and an energy drink, and he died. And... <laughs> How old was this kid? I don't know. I should have I should have brought up the article, but... It was just very strange to me that that it just happened. <laughs> like Americans don't. Yeah, eat we that had good. surge. Yeah, I know. Like I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Maybe I should bring it up here. We had surge machines in in my school. That's how much my school was trying to off us. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a soda machine, and surge was in it. Actually, to tell you the truth, it wasn't a surge machine though. But um, it's what the, was it? it's the first surge there. What? It's a uh, caffeine overdose. It's like the first thing. Oh, okay. They're calling it a caffeine overdose. So I guess that makes sense. Teenager dies in classroom of caffeine overdose after downing latte, energy drink, and Mountain Dew. Parents, talk to your kids about the dangers of these energy drinks, says father. Uh, he was 16, South Carolina, heart failure. Uh, uh, he had, too much he caffeine. had to have had something. Yeah. I know, because this, like, when I was younger, like, I used to snort that shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I knew I knew a kid who who uh, I associated with when I was younger who, who mm-hmm. passed due to an undiagnosed heart problem that mm-hmm. they had no idea he had, and he just he just died from it one day. Yeah. A very, very sad and uh, horrible thing for that to happen. But, I mean, in order for somebody to die from, like, that caffeine thing, you would have to have Something along mm-hmm. those lines. Well, it says a healthy adult can consume up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day or around four cups of coffee without any adverse effects. Four court. cups? Dude, I didn't have that by the within an hour of waking up. I know. You could drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> I'm usually a pot and a half kind of guy. Um, yeah, it says cause of death was a uh, due to a large amounts of caffeine. But, dude, that just doesn't... That doesn't... He, uh, he, consumed, he consumed under 500 milligrams, and it's saying that you can have four. Yeah, he had something wrong with him. Yeah. Because, dude, that's just. I consume um, way over that. Energy drinks have also been linked to caffeine intoxication. Um, They just found this out in 2015. Like, bitch, that was weeks ago. <laughs> um, Yeah, doesn't really say anything. Uh, it just says, parents, please talk to your kids about the dangers of these energy drinks. As students... Uh, and teenagers and students, please stop buying them. There's no reason to assume them, and they can be very dangerous. Why the fuck are we still selling them then? <laughs> God, it was some fucking... This shit's so fucking bad for you. But he he has to have a problem. It doesn't say anything. Um, a large Mountain Dew. Oh, it was a McDonald's latte. That's probably what it was, because McDonald's just shit food. <laughs> That's probably what killed him. It was just shitty food. Uh Oh my god! Oh, that beer tastes like shit coming back up. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so so how many how many cups of coffee do you say you consume a day? Uh, generally close to a pot a day. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm I'm currently trying to find out how much is in a pot because I googled it mm-hmm. and on Yahoo's Yahoo Answers, which is just a beacon of the knowledge of the human race. Yeah. <laughs> so how much caffeine is in a pot of coffee? The response is a fair bit. <laughs> yeah, those Yahoo answers, man. We got top scientists on these sites. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so uh, let's see here. Here's somebody with some decent answers. All well, right. it, well, it said there's 400 milligrams in, what, four cups? And a coffee pot carries how much? 16? Well, this one's claiming that uh, eight cups would be around 320 milligrams of coffee. So there appears to be some sort of... Well, you know what? That was a latte, though. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Which is espresso, which should... No, no, yeah, but that's the thing. Um, It, it was a latte, but the, the scientist or whatever you want to call him on here did say that there's about 400 milligrams in four cups. So I'm thinking, what's the coffee pot we have in the kitchen there? I think, is that... Probably 10. 10 cups. So probably a pot of coffee would be how much? Probably about... And I'm so horrible with math. I just can't think right now. <laughs> just, well, let, let's see here. Let's <laughs> let's see here. Let's assume on it because I don't brew my coffee super strong mm-hmm. because I take it black. Nah, so that's, you know that's what I hear. <laughs> hey hey. <laughs> hey hey. <laughs> All right. So let's say uh, the average cup of coffee is about 145 milligrams of caffeine. So. So, let's get out our handy-dandy notebook. <laughs> yeah, it's a handy-dandy calculator. 145 cups. Uh, uh, I have a 12-cup cu- or a twelve cup coffee maker, but I usually do about 10 cups. Mm-hmm. So, we'll take that by 10, which is easy math, and I should be able to do it in my head, but I didn't. That's 1,450 milligrams of caffeine just in my coffee content a day. Then, on average, I will drink four to five diet sodas a day. Now, let's see how much caffeine is in a diet soda. Uh, how much caffeine? And that, that's the thing. There has to be something wrong with diet. that kid because I just, I don't understand. Like, that's just, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I, it's it's probably the energy drink. There's weird shit in energy drinks. Like, who fucking knows what they put in there? Well, wasn't there, like, rumors there was, like, actually ball or fucking bull testosterone or, like, nut juice people or something st- in Red Bull? People are stupid. Yeah, like, I don't fucking know. All right, know. so a 12-ounce can contains 42.6 milligrams. For the sake of argument, uh, rounding purposes, we're just going to put 42... We'll just put 43 milligrams. So 43 milligrams... Uh, let's see, 1450. So 43 milligrams times about... Eh, I'd say I have five. That's another 215. So, 215 plus 1450 equals a grand total of 1,665 milligrams of caffeine that I consume on a daily basis, and I have no trouble taking a nap. (laughs) So, you don't get caffeine intoxication? (laughs) Maybe that's why I'm tired. Yeah. Maybe it's my caffeine intoxication. Although it's not the not that this is like something I just started doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been drinking coffee pretty regularly since I was like sixteen, and I'm now thirty three. Thirty three. How old are you? <laughs> thirty fucking two. Yeah, then I'm thirty three. <laughs> so I don't feel thirty two. <laughs> you don't act thirty two either. I know. I can't fucking help it fucking drives me nuts but uh, uh, yeah but i just i don't know and that's the thing like why why do police have to come out and say hey be careful of these energy drinks don't go and buy them and they still sell them like if it's causing death like why in the fuck hey but pot's still illegal yeah but you know what on the (laughs) other hand though on the other hand i don't like the whole nanny state thing Mm. i don't want to be babysat i know me either but so you know you do you but as a parent you should be regulating what your kids take in oh yeah and that's the thing like Although on all the these other parents hand, and stuff are probably just like, oh, whatever. You know, the government wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> but you know, on they're the putting other chemicals hand. in the water that make the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know there's a Facebook page of just Alex meme jokes? <laughs> it is so funny. I was going through them all the time, <laughs> and they just make fun of him so much. It's so hilarious. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. I like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Serious crap. It's so good. That guy. It's so good. 
If oh, any man. of you fuckers actually would believe anything, he, uh, really? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, the, How yeah. dare you listen to stupid people <laughs> who, uh, who are on the internet? Yeah. Uh, it's actually funny because when I was looking at that Fuck Facebook that page, uh, there, there was old pictures of him. I guess he used to be like a bodybuilder. <laughs> well, he is still in pretty good shape for being insane. Oh, yeah, he is. Um, He's 200 pounds of muscle and about 150 pounds of insanity. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see if we can find a picture of here. Alex Jones, bodybuilder. Uh, he was pretty ripped back in the day. Um, yeah, this is a picture of him when he was younger. And he used to work out. I, I, I work out. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's crazy. It's all the fucking shark testosterone he's oh, injecting probably. between his toenails. Look at that face, though. He's like, I'm from Texas. <laughs> They're putting chemicals in the water. They're starting the frogs gay. But, but the, the, the funny thing is, is he? I guess he takes this stuff. It's called male vitality, I guess. Mm. <laughs> That's not a sponsor or anything. Yeah, exactly. It's a sponsor. And I guess it's supposed to make you not a beta male or something, I guess. And a lot of the Facebook page memes were about that. <laughs> and I just, uh, I don't know actually what it is. Actually, let's Google that. I want to know what male vitality is. How about you, Jay? <laughs> I, I want to know. I don't know. Are you going to say, if you start calling me a cuck, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> or one of those other stupid things that these idiots on the internet are saying. Uh, you mean like the, the porn category cuck? cuckold <laughs> no 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 those those alt-right people or whatever you want to call like you know nazis essentially <laughs> nazis. that that's that that's their uh like like the steve bannonites it's their insult um to to one another is is a cuckold a cuck oh okay. because you know you, you've lost your masculinity oh okay. you've, you've been cuckolded all right so male vitality uh by herb farm yeah. Sorry, is an herbal supplement that seeks to provide support for healthy reproductive and sexual function. So what's in this shit? Oh, I thought it was like a fucking like just immune booster, but I guess it's like natural vitamin. It's probably got like it's probably got stupid shit in it, like horny goat weed. And those things that don't <laughs> horny do goat weed. What yeah, the fuck is a, that it's supposed to make your dick? hard or something i don't know what's in it uh it doesn't really say oh yeah that's, that's good let's put shit in ourselves we don't know what's in it uh let's see here okay here we go asian ginseng okay uh sarsaparilla root okay uh maca root uh macarena no i'm just joking um, uh, <laughs> it's maca actually it's green it's, it's, yeah yeah anyway. i've never i'm gonna butcher these words because i've never heard of them cardamom 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 seed with pod uh, other ingredients, certified organic cane alcohol, distilled water, contains no gluten GMOs. Of course not, because that's the conspiracy. Uh, warning, seek medical advice before taking during pregnancy or with uh, medical drugs. If you're taking reach... male, male vitality <laughs> while you're pregnant, you might want to. <laughs> that kid coming out with a mustache in zero <laughs> months. <laughs> uh, it's a fucking, fucking uh, natural pharmaceutical snake oil bullshit. Yeah. That's all it is, is snake oil. Yeah, I've never, I've never fucking heard of it. I've never, but they, that's what half the memes were about, was just making fun of Alex Jones for taking male vitality. <laughs> that's the, what he probably takes is like fucking bull testosterone and shoots it oh, in between, yeah, he, he probably between his uh, fucking fingers so you nah. don't see the track marks. Yeah. Didn't you tell me he got divorced recently or something? Uh, he's, he's going through divorce proceedings right now, and his wife actually uh, uh, said... It's a custody battle, and mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that his wife said uh, why she should have custody instead of him is, come on, <laughs> just listen, to, come on, you can listen to him every day, you can hear why he I, shouldn't have custody. I was surprised it took this long, like, I was like, because he always talked about his marriage and stuff like that, I'm like, who, who in the fuck married this man? <laughs> yeah, well, this, this that that's what they said, and then uh, his lawyer released an official statement saying that he basically does this shit for entertainment value. And nah. and her response was, no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> no, no, he wants to get He's down to it. Why the frogs are turning gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me. 
Yeah, and, the, and the funny thing is, is that's not even his best rant. He has so many other good ones out there, but for some reason, the internet went towards that one. <laughs> and I just don't. And we do talk about Alex Jones a lot. Oh, not a lot, but I'd say every once in a while. Oh, he's clear crazy. Yeah, if you don't know who Alex Jones is, just Google. Just go into Google or YouTube and type in, like, Alex Jones rants or something like that. It's fucking hilarious. It's just so amazing. And there's this one video where this guy took away his nose. <laughs> and he's ranting and yelling with no nose and it is so <laughs> funny it just cracks me the fuck up but yeah he has a, a bunch of stuff People, like I don't like putting chemicals in the water that turn into freaking frogs gay <laughs> do you understand that <laughs> that is crap I'm sick of being social engineer it's not funny <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, there's there's a whole fucking. People, I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get that as a that's, sound clip. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's your job next week is to get a sound clip of that because it is just too good. <laughs> Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. I'm sick of being social engineered. It's not funny. <laughs> Actually, I can get quite a few out of it. Here. One more, one more. <laughs> I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. I'm sure to be a social engineer. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to get like three or four sound clips out of that. <laughs> it's so good. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of being a social engineer. <laughs> It's not funny! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, no, it. no, Alex Jones. It is completely funny. <laughs> no, but it's fucking great. I, I love it. It's just so funny. <laughs> the internet just makes me happy. And speaking of the internet, <coughs> I, uh... <coughs> Yeah, 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 Jesus. Yeah, I know. The, the the lower down I'm getting on this beer, the more I see like a lot of shit down there. Floaties. Yeah, there's a lot I, of I, I ain't here. finishing this one. Yeah, it, it looks like sort of like a ground... Of, like roasted pepper. <laughs> yeah, but well, there's some big shit on there too, and that concerns me. Yeah, there's like some crushed bread peppers down there, or something like that. I don't know, or it's or it's the French's, uh, you know, um, ability to fight in wars. But anyways, <laughs> I don't know why I'm hating the French. <laughs> oh, I know why, because it's turning the frogs gay. <laughs> you don't like being socially engineered. <laughs> Is that a racial slur? Calling uh -huh. French frogs. Uh, it's a national slur. Oh, is it? Is that is that popular these days? Do a lot of people know that they, you call French people frogs? I would imagine so. Uh, okay, I didn't know if that was a thing or not. <laughs> you know, you know. I, until you just said that a moment ago, I didn't put the connection together that we were talking about French people and frogs. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> hey, man, it's that chemical Hell, engineering. Like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. You can't. I can't do math today. You can't put things. It's that chemical engineering. <laughs> oh, that, that that reminds me. Speaking of chemical engineering, uh, we got to talk about this movie because I was talking to Jay about it, and I seen Logan last night, and I'm fucking talking about this movie because that movie was the greatest. Fucking movie ever. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. One second. What are you writing? <laughs> oh. Uh, no, I no 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 no. I'm not I <laughs> I'm not going to spoil alert. <laughs> no, I'm not going to spoil it because Jay only watched like half of it. So I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm telling you right now. <laughs> if you Oh, this movie got me. I'm just I just that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> that movie was so fucking good. <laughs> whoever, whoever had a hand in making Logan. Or a claw. <laughs> God fucking bless you. It is about time that people are starting to realize that rated R movies are fucking amazing. This movie was so good. I, like, it changed it changed my opinion about movies, <laughs> especially the ones these days. Gonna be okay over there. Oh, dude, I got so I'm so hyped. <laughs> I need some male vitality. <laughs> They're turning the frog gay. <laughs> oh my god, this movie! Even if you don't like superhero movies, watch this fucking movie. It's just called Logan, and it's about Wolverine or whatever the fuck you fucks want to call him. 
All right. But it is so good. There was times when I was watching this movie, I forgot it was about Wolverine because it gets you so involved and emotionally attached. It is amazing. It is so fucking good. And the thing is, is it's just about time they're starting to realize that rated R movies can make money and they make, you know, and they can make good movies. Logan, the fucking Hugh Grant or Hugh Grant, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Who, um, who Dr. Perry Cox hates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scrubs. That's such a great show. But anyways, uh, he says fuck like six times in the first like ten seconds of the movie. <laughs> I've never heard Hugh Jackman say fuck so many times in my life. And he screams at that little girl. Just to, he, he screams right in her face to shut the fuck up in one scene. It is so great. There's no spoilers. She's just... This is literally a spoiler right now. <laughs> oh, my God. It is so good, dude. It was... It, it, and for for people that never heard me talk about this before, I believe that in a movie, in order for someone to emotionally be involved, they need to know the suffering or pain of this person. And all throughout the X-Men movies, they hint, they show... There was a couple Wolverine movies where they show, you know what kind of piece of shit and what pain Wolverine is actually in. And in this movie, they just fucking exploit all of it. Just how much of a damaged fucking alcoholic piece of shit he is. And he's just, it's so good, dude. It is so raw. I even like how simple the credits and stuff are. Like Didn't there's, get that far. Like there's no, like I'm talking about the beginning. <laughs> There's, this isn't a spoiler. I'm talking about the credits. <laughs> I do like Yeah, that. but I have a prop now. Fuck <laughs> yeah. um, I'm making a sign. Like the fucking beginning of the movie, they just show a fucking black screen with a white white font that just says Logan. There's no fancy intro. It's just fucking raw. Oh, you mean like Mad Max did years ago? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Those are one of my favorite movie series. And that's what I'm saying. Like the the, the popularity of Mad Max. Uh, you have Deadpool that came out. Now this Logan movie that's you know doing really well. Um, I finally think that movie. Uh, you know, I don't know if you want to call them the the board of movie people that have their say in things like that Batman thing we were talking about. Like the guys who uh, do a lot of cocaine. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) People that don't know anything about movies at all. They just, you know, the ones that make money from it. I think they're starting to realize how good rated R movies can be. I don't think they care about how good they are. I think they care if it's marketable. I know, but that's the thing. This is marketable now because Mm -hmm. people are starting to realize how good when you show true and raw emotion like, like I said, when you swear in things, when you get angry, when you show blood, when you show, you know, gore and stuff like that, it it shows you're like, oh, shit, <laughs> it gets you going. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I'm done ranting. If you haven't seen Logan, it, and like I said, it's not for superhero fans. or if, It's just a great movie. For everybody. It's just a great movie. And there is something last I want to say. <laughs> this movie... I. I a lot of movies don't teach you anything anymore, like these fucking Transformers bullshit, <laughs> where there's no substance, there's nothing, there's nothing going on in it, there's no kind of you know self, you know enlightenment or anything like that. But this movie shows that when you're a damaged piece of shit, you can still be on this earth to pass along information and teach people, you know, younger than you to be better than you were and stuff like that. So the, your takeaway from this movie is you still have a purpose. Yes. <laughs> as, as a damaged piece of shit. That's why <laughs> I think I like this movie so much because I knew exactly, you know, what Wolverine was thinking. I knew exactly what he was going through. Yeah, because you're a, you know, a multiple hundred year old mutant with, uh, you know, fucking but razor blades thing. in your fan, hands. We both had something in common. We're both miserable pieces of shit. And I understood it. And that's the thing. You're not like, nearly as cool as you, Jack. I man. know. I wish. God, he still looks ripped. <laughs> I'd still fuck the shit out of him. <laughs> he looks fucking ripped in this movie. But anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, um, it's just it's just great to see stuff like this in, in movies again because I don't see a lot of it anymore. And, you know, I think the whole purpose that we are on this planet and everything like that is 
to pass information on to people. You know, everyone looks for the meaning of life. I think personally it's to pass information along to your next generation and next generation. Uh, everything you go through, you pass on to them to make them, you know, get ahead of life. So it's just – it had great shit like that in it, and it's just – <laughs> yeah. Who needs male vitality when you got Logan? Oh, they're unturning the frogs, gay. <laughs> it was so good, dude. I just, I can't, I can't explain it. I just go fucking see the movie. I'm, I'm getting a just fucking. Just go fuck yourself. <laughs> you I'm be... getting a fucking rager over here, man. I just, I just one, <laughs> just one last time. Standing ovation, <laughs> Logan. Such a great fucking film, dude. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm getting nerd chills. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'm done. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, man, we need a Casey's oh, on the rant sound effect. I just, I don't know, man. I just, that movie, I don't know, dude. I just can't. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, man. <laughs> I just. <laughs> well, while we're, while we're on media, I guess maybe I'll throw my hat in the ring here. Uh, uh, for those of you Breaking Bad fans out there, uh, one, of, one of our viewers uh, made a comment the other day. Uh, on our last episode or the episode before that or whatever about me talking about uh, Brave, uh, Better Call Saul. Yeah, you know what? That, yeah. you, you need to be watching Better Call Saul if you're a Breaking Bad fan. In fact, actually, I think the storyline kind of stands on its own. Mm-hmm. However, it, it helps to, to know some of these characters that make their appearances in Breaking Bad down the road, like Mike Irvin Trout. And uh, uh, they just had uh, another, another special Fly appearance. <laughs> They just had sure. another special appearance by uh, Lydia Rodart Quayle. Holy name! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite the name. Holy fuck! Is she hot? <laughs> uh, relatively so. Wait, how do, do you know how to spell that? <laughs> just type Lydia Breaking Bad. They'll find it. Lydia. L y d i a. <laughs> that was wait. What was it again? L y d i a. D i a. So what's she playing? Baking, baking? No, that's that's her character name. I don't know who that is. Baking hell. bad. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Cookies here? Yeah, eh, but, she all right. She all right. She all right. But, yeah, I don't know. She's in her she's in her forties, but she ain't bad looking. Anyway, she's she's. Another. What does she play in Breaking Bad? She's a uh, Lydia is a uh, middle management executive from uh, th- this company called. Uh, uh, Madrigal Electromotive, mm-hmm. who basically finances the Los Pollos Hermanos uh, food chains, which is a cover for a method business. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does so, she know that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. okay. She is is she a, sort of a bad guy? There's no sort of about it. She's as much of a scumbag as anybody else. Oh, she's, she's just a piece not, of shit. Yeah, she's as much of a scumbag in that show as anybody else. The only difference is she is trying to maintain that she's not. Uh-huh. Like uh, so, she's under pressure, basically. No, like for example, yeah. <laughs> for example, in the final season of, of Breaking Bad, um, uh, Walt retires from the business and and, and bugs out of town, and uh, the formula for the blue sky meth ends up going to a, a group of white supremacists, uh, and uh, one of their little little members, Todd, was the cook for it. And uh, this other guy named Declan ran an operation, and Todd was cooking for it. Well, Todd managed to start a fire in Declan's operation. Uh-huh. And um, so he fired him and brought his old meth cook back, who didn't have anywhere near the the, the purity of the blue sky meth. Mm-hmm. So Lydia said to Declan, yo, hey, you need to bring Todd back in. And he refused, so she just went and had the white supremacist gang just completely slaughter everybody. <laughs> and, and while she's there, but then... Uh, she covers her eyes as she's walking around while Todd guides her through so she didn't have to see any of the dead bodies. Like, that's that's what it is. Uh, she's as evil as anybody she, else, yeah. but she refuses to accept the accept ugliness yeah. of what it is. That's pretty cool, actually. I like stuff like that. That's pretty cool. But yeah. anyway, uh, Better Call Saul has been this super slow burn uh-huh. uh, for for the last uh, two and a half seasons. And now in the third season, we're real, first off, we finally get to see Saul Goodman. <laughs> in in his his a, a portion of his glory, anyway, and um and last week's episode chicanery was just marvelous. Yeah, for anyone that we, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, we have a spoils alert sign. So if you're listening on the podcast, we're spoiling we're, everything. We're, ter- we're terribly <laughs> so ter- sorry. In fact, I'm going to put out a huge spoiler alert if you haven't seen last week's episode uh, uh, called chicanery. 
Uh, it's just unbelievably good. The, the two brothers finally face off in court. And, Chicanery? Uh, Chicanery is the name of the episode. Uh, from okay. last week. It sounds like a basketball player from college. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Chicanery. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they finally face off in court. And, you know, this whole thing about uh, Chuck's electric ma- sensitivity to electricity and shit that's all been in his head the whole time. You know, mm-hmm. Jimmy basically had, in order to keep his ability to practice law had to destroy his brother and basically prove that it's all in his head yeah. and he's crazy essentially yeah. and, and and he did that by having Huel Babineau plant a battery of a cell phone in his pocket and he t- t- you know he says reach into your pocket and he pulls it out and he you know all of a sudden it's been in his pocket for an hour and a half and he didn't feel anything and then nah. all of a sudden he sees it and it's like ah <laughs> and then it, then it just leads to a total meltdown on the stand and it, it just the whole time you see Jimmy doing it and just the look on his face it's like it's destroying him to do this to his brother but he, but he has to. to yeah yeah and see that's the thing like how you said it like it was a slow slow thing for a couple of seasons but I think that's important because character development because, was exactly what you don't see in a, a lot of things these days <laughs> so and and that's the thing like when um when a lot of people say that stuff uh they're like oh it's been slow and i'm just like you mean character development <laughs> yeah. which which a lot of things it doesn't really exist anymore and like uh, i was talking about the logan movie it's important for that to happen because that's how you relate to people is by character development you know, because everyone everyone takes something uh, and relates to something like music, how we were talking about a couple of weeks ago with the D Shiner thing. Everyone relates to things in different ways. And when you and that's how you relate to things is by getting to know a character, knowing what's suffering, what makes them happy, what you know, when I went to college for this kind of shit, they tell you, you know, when a lot of people make characters, they draw a bubble, they put their name in it, and they just make fucking crazy bubbles. What's their favorite? sport what's you know really make the person and it's it's just nice to see that i i might have to check it out. i still gotta watch breaking bad you you need you need to because vince vince gilligan is a is brilliant yeah and uh the showrunners that that both of those shows are just fucking brilliant you know the writing some of the shits of course not scientifically true mm-hmm. and something like you know like you can't dissolve a body and uh hydrofluoric acid they've tried it yeah, on mythbusters for example it didn't work yeah but I mean, the you know, if you can suspend your disbelief, the character development and how everything goes down is just such a brilliant thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you go for a ride on Breaking Bad, and you feel like you're you're latched on to to, to Walter White, and you you you're, you're rooting for him at the yeah. beginning of the show because you know his suffering. You know, right? And, it, and and that's why you know I I do, I haven't I think I watched two seasons of Breaking Bad, and um I sort of understand a little bit about it. Um, but the thing is is you know, you have this guy that is dying of cancer, and it is so true. When you live in America, it's fucking expensive, and he doesn't want his family, you know, to suffer. But after it's his so death. not that. That's, I know, but that's, that's the, the thing. thing. But that's why you start rooting for him because that is how you are introduced to this character, right? But the, but he's had in the course of the show, he had countless opportunities to have his treatments taken care of. He's just. I know, but he that's but, but that's why you feel bad for him. Stupid pride and dumbass. I know, but and then that's what I'm saying. That's why you root for him. That's why you you know because you sympathize with him. You know, someone uh, can say, okay, I can see why he is selling drugs because he's dying of cancer and he cares about his family. Yeah, and that's the, how they. But say, as the, the seasons progress, and you didn't get far enough to see this as the seasons. No, but I, that's what I'm saying. It really, really. So that that whole facade starts yeah. to fall away. I know, but that's what I'm saying. When you are first introduced to him, right, right, that's what you see. I get, and that, that's, that's why what brings you on the ride yes, with Walter, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's why you start, you know, sympathizing with him. I've talked about this a couple times. The the villain in Daredevil, you sympathize with him because they actually show why the villain is the way he is, and it's pretty in depth. He had a really hard life. His, he loved his mother. His father was a piece of shit. And they really get into that. So you find yourself rooting for the villain. And you understand well, why he's... kingpin. Yeah. You understand why he is the way he is. And why he doesn't trust anybody. Uh, it's just... It's amazing. It's just amazing. It's good to see good writing and stuff. And there is stuff out there. Uh, but, you know, you I, I just got to get back on Breaking Bad. But. You, you really do. I mean, yeah, it's long and it'll take you forever. Oh, to watch, I don't mind that stuff. I don't mind that stuff. Like I, I said, I'm really, 
really into movies and and good good stuff. You know what? To <laughs> tell you the honest to god truth, I think I actually find myself enjoying Better Call Saul better than oh. Breaking Bad right now. Uh, it focuses on characters that we love. First off, you mm-hmm. know, because you got Saul Goodman, you've got uh, you know Mike Erman Trout, who was. He was never even supposed to be on the show. Yeah. Like, uh, what happened was uh, in an episode where um, Jesse's... Uh, Je- <laughs> spoiler alert! Spoiler alert. <laughs> Jesse's girlfriend ends up dying. Uh, they had to call somebody to, 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 to act as a cleaner. Mm-hmm. Well, it was supposed to be Bob Odenkirk, uh, Saul Goodman, coming over to take care of the problem, but he couldn't be there that day for filming. Yeah. So uh, Vince Gilligan called up a, an old friend, uh, uh, a Jonathan Banks, who's been in everything. And um, he was uh, just brought on as a one-off, you know, here you go character, but people loved him, mm. you know, and he ended up being this big, huge part of the rest of the, the, the show. Yep. I mean, they they pulled the show out knowing generally where it was going to go, but mm-hmm. they fucking wrote the damn thing as they went. Yeah, and that's, that's the that's thing. It's amazing. You never know what's going to take off. That's like Full Metal Jacket. Uh, what's his name that was the drill sergeant? Arlie Ernie. Yeah, he was hired to train the actor. Yeah, he was a consultant. Yeah. Hell, I like you. You can come <laughs> over to my house and fuck he my He was there sister. to train the actor. Uh, but the actor, I think, got sick or something like that and couldn't make it. No, Ar- Arlie Ermey just completely sabotaged him. Oh, really? Like, he completely like just went in and said, let me do it. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> And then, right. he, then he recited that whole And that, they were just like, oh, okay, let's keep that. That was great. Yeah, and that's the whole like, opening sequence where he walks around in one take and just disparages everybody. Mm. Yeah, and that's why like a lot of filming is like can get expensive because they just they improvise a lot. Uh, Jim Carrey actually, a lot of his shit was improvised. It was not scripted at all. Uh, he just that's they, he's insane. Yeah, they would put the camera on him and he'd just start doing stuff, and they would just keep what was good. All that Ace Ventura shit and stuff like that. Um, actually, I just watched uh, this cool video about uh, Jim Carrey, actually. He was doing, like, really bad before he got famous, and he made a deal with himself, and he's like, in a couple years, uh, he wrote himself a fake check for $10 million, and he said, in three years, I got to cash this check in, and, like, two months before it was up, he got signed for Dumb and Dumber and made $10 million. <laughs> I was like, God damn, man, you were cutting it close. But I, I thought nice. that he, he was on like Oprah or something explaining to like explaining it. Yeah, Jim Carrey is fucking crazy. Like, his first movie is so bad, but I love it. It's a vampire movie called Once Bitten. Yep, Once Bitten. He's like sixteen in it, I think. I think he's, he's a little. Real... He plays a sixteen year old, I think, but I think he's a little older than that. I think he's in his early twenties. Really, I Maybe thought he was 19. really young in that. I mean, yeah, that is a funny movie. Though. I, love I that do movie. remember. It's them. terrible. Yeah, I know it is. You, you ever <laughs> want to see a fucking garbage fire though? Watch uh, Adam Sandler's first movie. It's called Going Overboard. Oh, it's really? a, it's, it is a total garbage fire. It's horrible. I actually saw him in a movie called Punch Drunk Love. And yeah, it was really crazy movie. I it's never. Not bad. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I wouldn't say a serious role, but more serious than usual. Uh, that Adam Sandler plays, yeah. and it's a it's a it's a weird movie. It's very artistic, very I, artistic. I movie. don't get the Adam Sandler hate. It's it's cool to hate on Adam Sandler right now. It, come it on, he had is. some great movies. I know it probably is. I it's, mean, Billy Madison I know, yeah, it was great. You know, Big Daddy was great. I think a lot of it comes from that he's not his movies got a little soft lately. Like a lot of people were making fun of Grown Ups and shit. Older, yeah. Like I thought Grown Ups was funny because it was just stupid. I loved it. Like a lot of people were making fun of Grown Ups, Grown Ups Two. Like the second one, Grown Ups Two. Shaq was in it. <laughs> it was just like Shaq, Shaq was a cop, and he would just do stupid shit like get drunk and pass out in like playhouses and shit. <laughs> and you know how big Shaq is, so he's like sticking out of this playhouse drunk. Like, Don't be insulting what I do. <laughs> yeah. The, the world is flat. <laughs> that's why I didn't fall off the, the earth when I fell asleep in that house. <laughs> and, that, and that's the thing, Malcap. I think you were the one that posted the the picture <laughs> on the one stream of the lunar eclipse if the Earth was flat. I didn't, that was fucking yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I don't know if I told you uh, I said this or not, but that was funny. <laughs> so shout out to Malkev. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> so stupid flat <laughs> Earth. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like I I thought this was all a joke till I started researching to find pictures for that that thumbnail for the video, mm-hmm. and it's like these people are dead fucking serious. Oh yeah. that's why I covered it because. But and, and that's the thing, like I just I don't know. I, I guess they, it's a stunt. Like I think I think it's a 
you know, public stunt to get, you know, famous or whatever like that. Because Shaq right now is doing general insurance company commercials. <laughs> like, and hot ice. Ride hot. with the general. <laughs> like, I just, I don't get it, man. Back pain, turn it <laughs> off with icy <laughs> hot. Oh, man. How are we on time? How are we on time? How are we on uh, time? We got, uh, we got a little bit, yeah. I'd say about another 10 minutes. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. You poor bastards got to get stuck with us for another <laughs> ten minutes. Okay, so uh, since we're still on movies, I got another one that you'll like. It's, uh, I, I specifically brought this because I know you're going to go off on a rant. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I think I know why you take your headset off now because my rants give you a headache. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Uh, Star Wars villain Kylo Ren becomes fastest rising baby name in the U.S. Amazing, love it. <laughs> why he's such a bitch? I, I like Kylo Ren. He's a bitch, and that's why I like him. <laughs> they actually—you've changed your mind, eh? I know. I've always liked him. I've told you that. I thought he was awful as soon as they took oh, his helmet off. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. I loved him, and then they ruined him. I loved him in the first half of the I'm movie. I'm a badass. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, I'm a badass. Take my helmet. <laughs> I know, and it's uh, a slow motion hair uh, commercial. Oh, my daddy. Uh. <laughs> and it was funny because I watched I watched a lot of movie reviews, and uh, there's this one girl I watched. Her name's Comic Girl. Comic Book Girl. I think like three nineteen or something like that. And I I like watching her stuff because it's not very because uh, she has boobs and likes the same things you do. No, she's very flat chested. I think I don't know. She never shows off her cleavage, so I don't know. <laughs> but she's well, very. I I like watching her because she's very outspoken. Like she just says fuck like whatever i'm starting to think you just like the word fuck yeah i do <laughs> but uh she was even explaining about Hell, i like you you can come over to my house and fuck my sister she was even explaining about um i completely forgot what i was talking about <laughs> what were we just talking we're about we're on a great show right? oh Kyle Kyle Red. Red. oh yeah she was talking about you know how the makeup and everything was great and then she went off of the tangent she's like the makeup was so fucking good kylo red's hair was still perfect after he took his fucking helmet off <laughs> oh man you need a teacher <laughs> i need vidal sassoon <laughs> <laughs> oh, those old herbal lessons, <laughs> herbal lessons shampoo you know, commercials. Speaking of that, <laughs> I I loved it because the, the you remember the music from those? Oh yeah, and you it know, was a girl moaning and shit. Well, She's like, oh, the, the music, uh, <laughs> the music from those was the fucking. Oh my god! Yeah, I remember it was well, diamonds and guns. Yeah, and I remember one time I'm sitting there with this girl I just met. We were watching herbal lessons commercial and. <laughs> And this herbal essence commercial, this girl's like shampooing her hair. She's going, ah, ah. And the girl next to me, she goes, yeah, fuck me, daddy. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. That didn't happen, but that would be funny. <laughs> I mean, what, the music, what the is music this? was fucking, fucking the transplants, diamonds and guns. They did an herbal essence. No, it's just herbal essence has bought the rights to this song. It's about fucking heroin. <laughs> Oh my god! They did steal it. Or they didn't steal it, but you know what I mean. Yeah. This is the Herbal Essence Shampoo yeah. song. Oh my god! I never put that together. I don't like a lot of punk though, so. That is so funny. <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah, it's it's the fucking replacement, man. <laughs> or the transplants, not the replacements. The transplants. Oh man, that yeah. is so funny. It's because it uh, I recognize the hoo hoo part. Yeah, it's uh, skinhead Bob, uh, the roadie for Rancid, uh, uh -huh. uh, Tim Armstrong from Rancid, and uh, uh, Travis Barker from Blink One Eighty Two on drums. Yeah, and they're fantastic. Yeah, I've heard of the Transplants, but I, I like I said, I don't like a lot of punk. I've never really got into it. Yeah, but uh, this is the yeah. Holy fuck, I never put that together. <laughs> That's crazy. Here, listen to this. I feel like shampoo in my hair. Heroin, heroin, <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> you know, that this Well, they don't put that in the shampoo. That's no. probably why the girls were moaning. They put heroin in their shampoo. <laughs> yeah, Ruth. Yeah, for anyone that did watch, just go and uh, YouTube some old Herbalessas like commercials. It's basically a girl shampooing her hair, and she's like fucking Ooh. orgasming. Yeah, she's just yeah, like, why? Oh. Yeah, why the fucking transplants play? In <laughs> yeah, back. I know. Uh, you know, I'm gonna share the transplants video because you know what? If our audience doesn't know this shit, they really should. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's great music. 
So heroin and shampoo. That's that sounds great. <laughs> that should be the name of the or, of this week's episode. Heroin and shampoo. Great mixture. <laughs> hey, why not? Yeah, we'll go with it. Um, yeah, I never realized that. That's pretty funny. You pointed that out. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's the funny thing. I was just thinking about this the other day. For you know, me and Jay have known each other for a long time, and since we've been doing this show, we still point out stuff that we never knew about. <laughs> like that Sega game that you showed me, I never would have known about that. Which and I've one, known- Comic Zone. No, the one about the vampires and shit. The uh, sucking blood. <laughs> oh, 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 the, the fucking night trap. Yeah, night so trap. See, that game's so cool. I know. And, and it fucking, I just, I don't know. I was looking into it and shit like that. It was just, back then, that was probably such a big deal. <laughs> oh, it was. In fact, they had Dana Plato, and it was pretty cool, too. Plato, <laughs> Sega. We need that as a sound clip, too. That actually reminds me. That I'd, would get us fucking copy flat. Oh, yeah, no, probably. Would. Probably. I don't even think Sega still makes shit, do they? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, they really saw that. A lot of their old shit is Android games, believe it or not. Yeah. And, and the funny thing is, is like I always I always felt like they should uh, uh, bring back the Dreamcast. I, I feel like the Dreamcast didn't get a lot of respect. <laughs> it, it didn't. It didn't do that well, and it had great games like Crazy Taxi. <laughs> Crazy Taxi so good. I know. It was such a good movie. Our movie. Game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still thinking about Logan. That's turning the frogs gay. <laughs> no, I'm I'm done ranting on Logan. Just go see it. <laughs> Just go see Dude, it. I'm straight up making a fucking like sign here that's like wily I Co- wily coyote style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, alert. Yeah, and then hold a lollipop like he used to when he fell off the cliff, sucker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so that's probably about all the time we got. Yeah. Huh? So for all the entertainment out there, watch you know, Better Call Saul, Absolutely. Logan. Listen and, to the transplants. Yeah, listen to the transplants. Yeah, we talked a lot about entertainment today. A lot about entertainment today. Well, that's kind of one of the things I'm into, you know. Yeah. And go check out on Twitch. They're doing uh, Mr. Rogers Marathon. And they even say that they have 886 episodes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. That's a lot of episodes. I know. And I wonder if they bought the rights or they had to. Well, yeah. The they, well, they at least had to buy the licensing right yeah. or license the rights. Yeah. Um, yes, Cricket. We're still working on the live streaming thing. We're trying to figure out how to do it and keep our video quality up. That's our yeah. deal right now. Yeah. It's a, it's a technological thing right now going on. So And a matter of we want to have more than five people watching. <laughs> yeah. So, we need, we so, need to, so we, share share these uh, videos with, with uh, everybody do you know if you uh if you listen to us on the podcast by the way we love you podcast listeners i know we don't tell you enough but uh uh there's a lot more you than there are youtube viewers but if you get on our youtube channel uh we subscribe take a look at our videos it'd be great you can watch us do this shit on (laughs) and and do do dumb shit like shove each other and Fuck you. I'm going to keep this up until <laughs> Casey swings at me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm so in a, I, so Yo, I'm a I Wolverine saw, Rager. <laughs> you know what? I saw a picture the other day. made me laugh. You know how the the the, the art, the poster art of that is uh, his hand with his claws out yeah. next to that girl? Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> they changed the Logan to vegan, and it was three lettuce. <laughs> I did see that. I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking romaine lettuce. Uh, yeah. uh, but anyways, yeah, that, that's about time. And another thing, that, that girl... That played in Logan. I don't know who the fuck you She's are. She's a badass. But you're awesome. You're the greatest fucking, like, I hope you do more movies. You're fucking awesome. I don't know who you are. <laughs> but that little girl that played in that, you're fucking amazing. All right. We'll see you all <laughs> next week. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>